thought we'd get started and do a few things first. Um, for those of you who have not seen, okay, this is what the sign looks like when I print it out, okay? And then I have a blank sign that's white on one side, and I tape it. You have to get it in position just right, and then you tape it. This was hot a few minutes ago. It's hot off the press. Okay. Here's what the sign looked like before I heated it. Here's what it looks like after you heat it. And this is what it looks like when you're done. Look at the difference in colors. Isn't that amazing? This is a special paper that you um, print on a special printer with special ink and then you heat press it onto your sign. Isn't that awesome? I just thought I'd show you guys because see how it takes all the ink out of the paper? Isn't that cool? So this is trash. And your, your wording has to be backwards because when you press it, it's going to come out the right way. Now I'll show you a new design that I just made. And don't tell anybody, if my husband's co-workers are watching, don't share. I know you won't. But if you live local and you want this in time for Valentine's Day, it is available. Isn't that beautiful? I can put anything on it. Okay, that's all right. I'll, I'll share it later. No biggie. I don't know what the problem is, but there it is. Isn't that nice? So that's something you can use all year long if you don't have anything on the front of your car. Some states, they have double plates. This state does not. So we can put, I guess they call these like a vanity plate. So this is new in the shop. I made one for me and I made one for my husband for Valentine's Day. So he's got one, I have one. Isn't that cool? But you wouldn't know that this is what it looks like in the beginning, and this is what comes out of it at the end. So I'm just showing you the difference in colors. All right, because I got a bunch of orders for these, a bunch of orders for the ladybug. So... I'm almost caught up. Now I have to make the gnomes. So I'll just hold these here. This is one to be printed. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to go over the new ones, the second uh, release of my signs. Now what I decided to do, I decided to make little signs. Now the purpose for these were you know, somebody's in the hospital, somebody's having a baby or a birthday, you send them flowers, what happens? The flowers die and they've got nothing left, all right? Well, these are going to be attached to the flowers, your flower arrangement or whatever. And then when the, if you use cut flowers and the flowers die, fine. If you use fake and they're alive, that's good too. But these have magnets on the back. So they'll be able to, I don't have anything magnet nearby. <laughs> well, here we go. They'll be able to, well, it won't stick to that, but it will stick to a refrigerator. I know because it's stuck to my refrigerator and my um, washing machine, but they'll have a little, little thing they can put on their refrigerator or reuse and give to somebody else when they have a baby. So this is the first one that I'm showing you. This is Welcome Baby, and there's a boy and a girl one. 
Okay, so we're gonna make we're gonna make um, a little boy one. Now, I know this is clear. I know I want to stick some flowers in there. I know that I want um, some styrofoam in there, and I don't want it to show. I have this five-inch mesh that I haven't done anything with, but it's the right size to roll up and stick in here so you don't see the styrofoam. Hi, Teresa. So this is the second release. And I have more signs coming, so we already showed you the big ones. Now these are the small ones that you're going to see. I can do aprons. I can do um, signs for your business, license plates or whatever. Now, if you don't get this rolled up the right size, it doesn't go all the way to the bottom. So let's roll it up kind of tight because it will unroll when we get it in there. We already did we already did a logo for Esther so if anybody's in need of a logo email me we'll get you set up now I just cut a few pieces to put in here and see I'm just using the five inch mesh to cover up the styrofoam so you can't see it from the outside but this is just a way that you can um, give somebody a gift and they've got something for later to remember it by instead of the dead flowers I love flowers, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to have something. You bring a baby home, you don't want to be worried about watering the flowers or changing the water in the flowers or whatever. So I picked out a bunch of blue because as you all know, I've got a baby coming the end of the month. Hi, Tracy. So a new grandchild, grandson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little floral arrangement hope she doesn't see this because I'm trying to stay ahead of the game and have everything done ahead of time so when the baby comes if I'm swamped I've got everything done so this is just a vase that I rolled some 10 inch mat or 5 inch mesh in there to cover up the styrofoam and I'm just adding some flowers because I want to take her some flowers when she's in the hospital and I don't want her to worry about watering them. She's going to have enough on her hands bringing that new baby home. Hi, Rachel. All right. Well, these are just some blue flowers I had in my stash. And I'm going to add some of these white flowers to give it a little different dimension here I know but I got another trick up my sleeve for that mesh I'm not done with it yet I hope to do it on a live shortly but it just just worked out fine because see I just rolled it I think I cut about like a I think it was like a 20 inch piece and I just rolled it up and put it right to the bottom Y'all loving the new signs? I'll tell you, they must be loving it because I've gotten a lot of orders. So, if you need a logo, you need an apron, you need a license plate, I got you covered. I just want a little greenery in here, so I'm going to add just a little bit of some fern in here. So 
this is just something I can take to the hospital with me or after she gets home, take it to her when she gets home. And I got some pit berries. Just wanted to put a little something different in there. You don't have to get too fancy. But there we go. Got a little, little um, decoration. Now, we are going to see if we can do this here. How you doing, Tracy? Hi, Pat. I have some ribbon here. It says baby boy on it. Okay. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to make just like a little three, three loop bow to go on here. I'm going to do, I'm going to, and this may not stick in here, so I may have to come up with something else, but let's give it a shot. All right. So it's going to be just our little pre loop bow. Oops, we missed this one. So let's go back. Now these signs are going to run four dollars. They're already going to come with the with the uh, ribbon on it and the um, magnet. That one's just a little too big. There we go. All right. So here we've got our baby boy one. And like I said, after they're done with the arrangement, they can just hang it up on the fridge. Okay? So we've got a boy one and a girl one. They kind of match the other girl and boy sign. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to figure out a way to tie this on here. I just thought, you know, they get inundated with um, all the flowers and such. I think what I'm going to do is tie it on this way. That looks to be the easiest way to do it right now. have to adjust it, bring it up a little higher. I think what I'll do is I'll leave the bow untied because I think that's a better way to for anyone to use the item, they can tie it to the bow themselves. So let's let's take the knot out. So I'm not liking this way. So I'm going to undo the knot on the ribbon and leave it open because that way you'll be able to tie it to whatever you're going to be tying it to. So there, it's going to be open. 
You're just going to tie it right to your bow. And I can make the ribbon a little bit longer. All right. Let's dovetail our tails. going to go right into the styrofoam that we covered up with the mesh and I may have to there we go we're gonna get creative because I don't think that's gonna stick the wire so we're gonna stick the wire to um, a dowel rod Then we're going to stick the dowel rod to the styrofoam. It's fighting me every step of the way. tighter. There we go. All right, let's get this baby in here. Not liking my bow, so I'm going to go back and fix that after I'm done. But you kind of get an idea. You're making the arrangement yourself. This is kind of like the card. You don't have to buy the card to go with it. Because like I said, this is a magnet on the back. Okay, so basically you can sign the back of the card or the back of the magnet and there you go You've got a little handmade um, arrangement to give them and they've got something to have on the fridge afterwards you don't want to use um, artificial flowers take them real flowers use this as your card sign the back with a with a marker we have it in girl and boy everybody see it okay all right so that's one on to the next one you saw our big um, bike ones that I made Right? Y'all watching me? Did I freeze? Okay. You've got follow the sun or seek beautiful things. Okay? Now what I did with that was I made it into the little ones. Because sometimes somebody just needs cheering up. Again, it's got the magnets on the back with the ribbon. So you could make a candy bouquet. You could do anything with these. All right, these run $4. The ribbon and the magnets are already attached. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, I think I'm gonna use, let's see. I think I'm gonna use this basket. All right, because they just wanna be cheered up. 
Am I still on, guys? Can you still hear me? Because I'm not seeing comments. Or did it go the other way? Hello? I'm going to undo the knot. Because I think I'm better off leaving it open so I can tie it to stuff. All right. So we've got my bike signs. So this is a bouquet of flowers that's already made up. This came from Sims. Hi, Esther. Are, are the comments going backwards or are we, are we what? And I actually have some peonies that look just like the ones in the, um, in the picture. So I think I'm gonna add some of those. I think they're peonies. All right. Okay, good. You can see me. All right. I thought you guys left me standing here all by myself. I should have plugged my heat gun in, but I didn't. So let me do that now. Bring it over here. It's stuck in the container. Hopefully when we heat it up, it'll unstick itself. Uh-oh. Hope I didn't lose you. The whole plug just came out. Didn't lose you, did I? Or did I? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, as soon as that heats up, we're going to glue the styrofoam right to the bottom of the basket. And which one, which one do you think you guys want me to use? Follow the sun or seek new adventures? Because this is going to be like a pick-me-up for somebody. We're just going to make them a simple little arrangement just to pick me up. You know, people are always having bad days. They need just a little pick-me-up. amazing how quick this thing heats up. Not hot enough though. I don't think. No. So which one do you want me to use? This be neat after somebody gets a divorce. <laughs> Tell them to seek a new adventure. Right? Hi Angie! Let me just add just a little more here. There we go. All right. So we got our styrofoam in there. The basket is covering the styrofoam, so you really can't see it. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to pick this bouquet apart and just add some flowers in here. And then we're going to attach this to the front. And if you guys think of any other, um, any other signs that you want to see, or say you have some ribbon and you want to add some, I'm not liking that with that color. Let's see. It kind of matches the one in the picture, let's see. Yeah, I think I like the cream color better. All right, so we're gonna just pull some flowers out of here to put in here. Just make a cute little arrangement. And again, you don't have to use fake flowers. You could go ahead and use real flowers. Go get a vase. Stick the flowers in it. Okay? Simple. This is going to be for my, my daughter-in-law when she has the baby. Do the end of the month. 29th. Woohoo. Local grandbaby I can spoil. Let's get this too. So I'm trying to match some of the flowers that are in the uh, sign already. So to decide which one we're going to use. 
Kathy, these are the new small ones, okay? Um, the big ones, see how much bigger they are? The small ones I've attached magnets and ribbon to, so you can use this as your greeting card. Um, sign the back. Um, here's one I just did. These are available. If you live far and you want it for Valentine's, it's not going to happen. And then I can show you the other new signs. Okay. All right. So we're going to put some flowers in here. We're just going to make a cheery bouquet for that person that needs cheering up. some other kind. I'm trying to go with the flowers that are in the bouquet on the bike, um, in the bike basket. I just want to make it cheerful. some purple pit berries. We could add some of those in the back. Y'all having a good day? Kathy, didn't you see them the other night, the new signs? Because I have them down here if you want to see them. So I can show them. Just a little cheery bouquet. that. Let's trim this a little bit. I could throw a little blue in there because there's a bluebird on the sign, but no. I'm going to want to throw this in there. I found this bike at Michael's last year, so I'm going to be adding that in there too. Let's just add another one of these pinkish roses. Get a little height up there. And I think I'm going to add another one of these. No. Um, could add one of these. Uh, maybe not. Let's just see. Nope. Not liking that. Let me see. Let me see what we got. Let's maybe add a different white one. Yeah. 
Let's find another one like that in my stash. too. Again, I just want to do a cheery bouquet. And then I want to add a little bit green. bike ribbon. My bike ribbon is upstairs. It matches the ribbon on the bike sign perfectly. Okay, so there's our bouquet. And then we're going to add the bike in there. Oh, signs. Okay. <laughs> I thought you meant pines. And I'm like, what? All right, I'll, I'll show the signs again. How's that? Okay. Look at that. You saw how long it took me, all right? So are we gonna do seek beautiful things or find, um, follow the sun? Which one should we put in it? It's just something to really, really make the person feel okay. Well, I already d undid the the knot on the um, the sign here, but if I tie it to the bike, it's going to cover up that. Should have used a taller basket. So this is what we'll do. I think we'll kind of stick it up taller and try it that way. I think that would be cute. All right. So, I think what I will do is loop the loops around the top of the stick and glue it that way. Because when they put this on the fridge, they don't need the ribbon. They've got the magnet. So, Come on, where's this styrofoam? Got so much stuff in here, I can't find the styrofoam. <laughs> and I think I need a taller. All right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add another piece of styrofoam in there just for the sign because it's down too low and I want it I want it higher there we go ah we go. How's that? 
Again, this can be your card. You can sign the back of it. No card needed. And if somebody works in an office, you can turn around and have uh, one of the people out front deliver it to their office. And look, that's something that they'll have for a long time. They're not going to die. Thank you, Tracy. Okay, so you have seek beautiful things and then you have follow the sun. Okay, so that's our second design with our fourth sign. Um, let me just do this for Kathy real quick. Okay, the two little signs I just used, we have them in bigger. Okay, these are nine by seven. Seek beautiful things and follow the sun. Everybody else has enjoy the ride. No, you wanna you wanna get out there and see the world. Oh, I got extra because I'm printing for people. Um, we've got this. I go to sleep counting deer, not sheep. This was um, developed for my new grandson. His room is a, it has deer as the theme. Then we have another baby sign because I'm gonna do something with this. I'm working on the moon and these come okay you've got dream little one these come with matching lambs too that I found we've got a pink one and we've got a blue one hi Dawn okay so you've got the pink or the blue nine by seven then we have this one um, horses um, leave hoof prints on your heart and I have, I listed it today in my um, Facebook page, my new Facebook page. There are accessories too. There's a cowboy hat and the um, horseshoes and the um, boots that go with this. And each one I listed on my new page has um, complimentary ribbon. And I'm selling the ribbon by the yard. So you can pretty much get all you need for the one sign without running around looking for it. Um, we have two ladybug ones, enjoy the little things. And the other one says, um, uh, what does it say? Oh, nothing bugs a lady. And I made a noom, um, the ladybug moom. And when I'm having a hard time, I'm trying to find this ribbon. And I actually have a guy that I'm talking to that I think is going to be able to make me the ribbon. And then of course we have the B1, which I just showed you um, at the start, that this is what it looks like before you print it. So you can see how vibrant the colors come out of this paper. And then um, bunnies and bling, it's an Easter thing. So I will I already have the um, ladybug gnome. I will have a bee gnome and we will have a bunny gnome. And they're going to look like the, as much like the sign as I can possibly get them. Okay. And then this was one I just showed. Here's what the paper looked like afterwards. It looked dull in the beginning, but then I heat pressed it to the license plate and that's what the paper looks like after it pulls the ink out. I thought everybody would want to see that. Okay, so those are the new signs. And now I'm showing you the small signs. All right, we have another one. It was my girlfriend's birthday. So I'm going to be making her up a little um, gift. And I also have this ribbon, which goes with the uh, sign. So that'll be available. Now... My girlfriend loves to drink, so I found this glass, and she loves chocolate-covered pretzels, and I went easy on her. I got the yogurt-covered color, 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 pretzels. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this bag, and we're going to fill it with the pretzels, and we're going to put it in here, all right? And then we're going to hang this sign from here because this is going to be her card. I'm going to sign the back and that's going to be her card. 
All right. These I got at Dollar General. They're made by Palmer. And I thought, you know, they they have a nice pastel color to them too, so they would look good as a baby one, don't you think? Well, let's kind of push them upward a little bit. Okay. Now, guess what I forgot? The ribbon. Bring it down. So let me see what I can use here. Well, we'll just go ahead and use the ribbon. Now, I do have birthday ribbon, too, which also matches colors in the sign. So let's just use the birthday ribbon. Or we could use the, the the dotted ribbon. You throw away the card, you throw away the flowers. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted it to look really pretty. Look, that kind of matches the glass too. We don't spend a lot on each other for our birthdays, but I tried to do something really unique for her. Last year it was her 60th birthday, and she loves the beach, so I made her a wreath, which she still has hanging up in her, in her house. So what I'll do, I'm going to attach this here. If I'm not seeing your questions, I'm sorry, but I will and I will go back when I'm done because I can't tell which end it started. Oh well. So let's just do a simple bow because she's simple herself. my bestest friend in the whole wide world and we've known each other a long time we've cried we've laughed we've been there for each other it's almost like she knows when I'm having a bad day because she'll just call Isn't that like the cutest little gift? Who wouldn't want that? And I'll just sign the back of it. See? Just brand new glass I found at my, my special place. Okay, so that's another one. Then, okay, this is a fun one. You know when you're just not feeling good, how something like this can perk you up? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Esther. You got a new friend, Esther. I'm here for you. All right, so we're going to do a get well one. And I found these really awesome, look, bowls, glass bowls. So I could do it this way. I could do it in a basket. Or I could just pile everything up in here. And I thought, I'm not sure what color to use. I thought about just, see the mesh gets really on the edges. So I'll find some fabric upstairs. I don't think I have any down here that's appropriate. No, well. No, that's cow spots. <laughs> uh, but do you know when you've been sick, the first thing you need to do when you get well is replace your toothbrush? Do you know how long those germs last on your toothbrush? See you, Tracy. Thank you. So I thought if somebody isn't feeling good, what's the what's the thing they really would love? Is a little bit of chicken noodle soup, 
some hand sanitizer. It's not going to fit in this bowl, so we're going to have to use this, the basket. Some peppermints to open up your sinuses. So I got chicken soup. I should send this to Willie. She needs this. A little bit of toothpaste, because, you know, if you're putting the toothpaste on your toothbrush, it gets in the toothpaste tube anyhow, so you want to just replace your toothbrush after you've been sick. And then I got little um, little Kleenexes. Find your fearless, it says. Believe in yourself. And what's the other one? I thought just, you just don't have to spend a lot to just perk up their spirits. So there you go, there's our get well basket. So the first person in my family that gets sick is getting this basket. I hope nobody gets sick, but we all know what's gonna happen. And I think I wanna put a little something in the bottom here to bring it up. Right now all I have is some newspaper. I just want it to sit up a little. Oh, you know what? We'll use some paper towels. That's a lot cleaner than newspaper. So we'll just put a little newspaper in, or a little paper towel in the bottom. Because we want that can of chicken noodle soup to stand out. Right? All right, so we got our little packages of uh, tissues with little sayings on them. We've got some hand sanitizer. And I sell essential oils, so I'm sure I can find some essential oils to put in here too. Peppermint is a good one um, when you're all stuffed up. So Dawn, after you're feeling better, ditch that toothbrush, baby. The germs will stay on there. So there we go. We've got a little get well basket. Or, you know, you could come up with other stuff for people that are in the hospital. A little bit of candy, just something to suck on. See your H. Oh, it's Tracy that's leaving. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Okay. Now, we've got that there, got that there. So what I need is my cellophane, which I put right here. And it never, it's always static and it never comes off easy. Hi, Joy. If I didn't say hi, I'm sorry, honey. Okay. So. Yep, see it sticks. And then it, oh, sometimes I hate this stuff. It just is full of static. It won't unravel right let's just cut this i'm not going to deal with it It'll just fall right to the floor there we go or you know you could just stick the chicken soup right in here with a little bit of tissues and the hand sanitizer and look at that then they've got their their mug to put their chicken soup in Let's do that. Let's put it in the cup. Let's put some paper towels in there. Put chicken soup in there. Put some tissues. No, nope, it's not going to give us enough room. So I guess we are better off sticking with that. But even if you just wrapped up this and put the get well on it and gave them some chicken soup, like, isn't that cute? I gotta do this all over again because I messed it up. All right, so we got our chicken soup in there. Our toothbrush, because we want them to get rid of that toothbrush after they're done and they feel better because the germs are all on that toothbrush. And then we got some tissues for them. And we got hand sanitizer. 
All right. Now, when I do this, I try to go up as high as I'm going to want it. And a little bit higher. That's good. And I'm going to cut across here. Not cut the cord to my phone. Just a little something to let them know you're thinking about them. And then I would tape that to the back. Gather up this side. Tape this section to the back. Right. Now, look at our sign. Our sign has flowers, pink flowers, um, pink, red, blue. want a pink one. What do we got over there? Well, let's just do dots. And again, any of my signs, I have matching ribbons, and the ribbon is for sale by the yard. Very inexpensive. Yeah, I like this. This could even be used for the boy or girl sign because I have it in blue also. And then I'll just take my magnet sign and tie it right with the bow. the back of it but that is my card just something to let them know I'm thinking of them and just something to get them by until they feel better A little bow. Yes, wouldn't it, Kathy? Just have some little baskets made up for babies and birthdays and get well. Um, there you go. And this will get taped to the back. a little bit more on this bow. Could add more. I think I'm going to add more to it. But I won't do it now. But there you go. Okay, you've got Get Well. You've got Seek Beautiful Things with the other one that says Follow the Sun. This little bike came from Michael's. And we've got our birthday one. Happy birthday. And then, this is for my 
daughter-in-law when she has the baby. There's the boy one. And there you go, you got a girl one too. So what do you think? Anybody there? Simple little arrangements, a little bit of flowers. Whoa! That this basket has a little bit of a bow to it. I'm gonna have to wet it and reshape it. Now the signs, the small signs are four. Okay, the big ones, the big ones like this. And like this, these are 10. And then I have ribbon to go with all the signs. I have um, lambs to go with the baby signs. They match the, the baby signs. So everything is there for you. And we got ribbon. This would have even looked good on the birthday ribbon one too. Um, these three colors. And we've got several of the baby colors and happy birthday colors. So there you go. Everybody left me. Don't leave me all alone. We even have um, polka dots in the boy and girl color. We've got ladybug. We've got bee. We've got the bike ribbon, the ribbon that goes with the bike. All available. Esther's still with me. Did you guys see Esther's um, logo that we made for her? I posted it. We can make you an inexpensive logo for your business if you don't have one yet. And we're doing aprons too. The aprons are 20. I can do a sign with your business name on it. There you go. All right. You there too, Angie? <laughs> Yay. I have, um, and I have another line of signs coming out probably the beginning of next week there's another basket sign coming out in this size and there's going to be another line of of signs coming out also so probably releasing those next monday My husband will like what I made him. I made myself one too. So I thought that'd be cute on my car too. Kathy, they're all on my other Facebook page, which is listed in the comments. It's Robin Reese Signs and Supplies. That's where I post them. I have not had a chance to post them on Etsy yet. I mean, you wouldn't believe it took me over an hour and a half this morning just to take all the pictures and then put my um, business name across it and download them and 
edit them and oh my gosh but yes the the bigger signs are ten dollars a piece the little ones are four and they come with the magnet already so when they're done they have a, a refrigerator magnet no card needed Aw, thanks nanny dot don't be the first one to get sick, honey, or you'll be getting one of these. <laughs> and like I said, we do um, business logos too. So if you're in need of a business logo, let me know. And I found out the hard way when I printed my first apron. Vista Print did the same thing I did where they get that film where it ends so I now cut around and you don't see that edge on there anymore it's like the one size fits all for them and it's you get what you pay for so I found a way to get around that because my shirts look like they have a stain a square stain on them now that they made me so All right, guys, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to say bye. I know I've got poopy puppies up there, probably. <laughs> so, all right. And if you have any questions, or if you have a saying that you want on the sign, or if you want a logo done, contact me. And we'll get you set up. Dawn, did you get your apron? Who else ordered an apron? Missy. Dawn, I wanted to put your logo on it, babe. I hope you're feeling better. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for spreading the love. Thank you, Esther. Connie. Connie, where were you? <laughs> poor Connie alright Connie here they are they're small signs with a magnet get well soon we've got the follow the sun or seek beautiful things we made a little basket these have magnets on the back so you use them as your card or your little sign for your arrangement and then after they're done, they can put them on their fridge. We have a happy birthday one. We did this arrangement. We have a welcome baby one, which is this. And we have a boy or a girl. And this is the, the lamb that goes with the sign you wanted. And we'll be releasing another batch of signs next Monday. And if you've got grandkids, you're going to want to watch. And if you have an idea for a sign, let me know. If you want, um, if you want a special sign or you want your logo, let me know. Um, I. We'll do it for you. Okay? You can watch the replay, Connie, and if you have any questions, let me know, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for joining. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.